So now we come to the question of how do we move in the direction that we want to move. So we have some I point, and we have some at point uh, in our world, and we also have some up vector. And now we would like to be able to do something like, say, move forward, right? So this is bound to the W key, is, is what we're after. So what is move forward? Well, we need to know what's the forward direction. So we need to find this vector here. So we're going to call this vector D. So move forward is going to look like we have to find D. So D is at minus I. And this is inconvenient to um, work on if you're just using built-in JavaScript because arrays, you can't do this. If I, if I just have an array which says at equals 0 comma 0 comma 3 this this you can't write it in this way but you now have a nice vector class library so you should be able to write something which is much closer to this kind of form in order to be able to do math on your vectors so we have a vector d now where do we want these things to end up now we want the i oh and uh, let's say we'd like to go one one unit step so let me say D equals D dot normalize. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what your syntax is. It depends on how you've written your vector line, right? And now I want my I to be equal to I plus D. So that's going to step me one unit forward along this direction and give me a new I position. And I, need, I better move my I, my app forward too. Because if I keep moving my I and I cross at, something weird is going to happen. So let's move our at forward too. So at equals at plus D. Okay, got it. That's moving forward. So we have some forward direction here figured out. And backward is going to be quite similar. We're just going to subtract D. So we got forward and backward now. So let's consider another function. Let's consider left. What are we going to do to left? And left is bound to, what is left bound to? Left is bound to A. So we're going to need to do something here. So now we're going to need to move in this vector direction. And so our question is, how, how are we going to get this vector? What, what does this mean to, to get this vector and, and move in this direction? Now in 2D, we can just figure this out easily. But in 3D, remember we might be pointed off in space, you know, in some crazy direction like this pen is now. And so we'd like to be able to figure this out generally in, in 3D. But we have an up vector. So up is pointing out of the page in, in this case. And we know that the cross product of two vectors gives an orthogonal vector, right? So this vector that we want left is orthogonal to this uh, direction vector. And so we can use cross product in order to get this left vector. So we're going to first, we're going to get D, the D vector. So we're going to, again, do what we did before, d equals at minus i. And now we have an up vector. So now we're going to say left equals d cross up. Now, again, this is not, you can't write it this way in your code. Um, you're going to have to figure out the way that you have cross implemented in your code. So maybe it's going to be, I, I don't know exactly how you did this, maybe it's something like D cross up or, or something like this that, that you have. But anyway, you, you'd like to do this kind of conceptual idea to get your, your left. And when I want to get my right, it's going to be just the vector pointed the other way. And so how can I get the one pointed the other way? The one pointed the other way is going to, you're just going to use the, the negative direction and it's going to give you the opposite one. Or you're going to reverse the vector after you get the, after you get the vector in order to get the other direction. So now you can get left and right using the cross product together with the up vector to get an orthogonal vector. Now you may have to, if you're only staying in a 2D plane, your up vector is always going to be pointed in the Y direction out of my, out of my 2D plane that, I, that I'm moving around in. If I'm allowing my user to look up and down and I'm in true 3D coordinates, okay, I better update the up vector also. If I've taken this vector uh, 
if I have this pin pointed this way in this direction, and I've taken it and I've lifted it off so that I'm pointing in some upwards direction, okay, of course my up vector is now pointing away, right, 90 degrees. So I'm going to have to update that thing eventually too, if I allow myself to sort of move and turn across the top. If I can only look up a little and look down a little bit, and I limit that angle, then I can probably get away with just keeping my up vector straight up and down.